Hello everyone, welcome back. My name's Dustin Grace, and today we're going to be doing another Drinking with Dustin. Um, XC just announced the next Trails in the Sky game, uh, second chapter coming out at some time in 2014, so I figured, hey, today's a day of celebration, so let's go ahead and hit some of this up. Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. Um, yeah, uh, this company, or this brewery, has been around. They also do a um, just a, uh, a bourbon barrel ale as well. That a lot of people really enjoy. And uh, my brother actually told me to try this, so I did. And it's a stout brewed with coffee aged in oak barrels with Haitian coffee. So I'm expecting a big, big coffee hit, but I guess we'll see. Um, it's brewed at 8%, so it's one of your uh, stronger um, you know, stouts out there. But um, you can also go to KentuckyAle.com for the story behind their, this microbrewery. And it's, I've always seen the bottles around, but I've never really given these guys a fair shot. So um, here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now the box told us, told me, to drink it out of a snifter. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pour it right in there. And there we go. You, know, you definitely get that coffee smell. It's a lot like um, when you open up a pack of new coffee and you just sit there and kind of smell the beans. Don't really get um, the bourbon hit all that much. But let's go ahead and uh, give it a... Definitely a big, um, big roasty coffee flavor. Actually, really like this. This is really quite awesome. <clears throat> the thing with this, though, is the um, I've had some other bourbon barrel. Uh, ales and things like that and you do kind of get that bourbon hit in them and this the the coffee and the stoutness is just so prevalent that um, the bourbon barrel aspect to it is kind of pushed uh, towards the back you don't really get that bourbon flavor Maybe towards the maybe towards the very end of it, you kind of yeah. I just <clears throat> went off the counter there. Um, steady on, Dustin. Steady on. Um, maybe towards the end of it, you kind of get a like a, a just a, a subtle flush of a bourbon sort of note, but um, big roasty coffee stout. Um, and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, it's not um, it's not an overpowering one. It's actually just very, very good. It's not like an older spoot and it's just going to kick your head back on that first, <laughs> that first uh, swallow. But uh, yeah, this is one that um, I definitely would probably pick up again. But um, I don't know, <clears throat> you know, the frequency of the pickups on this because um, it's it comes in a. I want to say it comes in a four pack. Uh, I think yeah, it comes in a four pack, and um, it's a little bit expensive for that four pack, but uh, definitely pretty good. So anyway, guys, that was the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. Now I'm going to go finish this and finish playing Killer Is Dead, and hopefully have a game discussion up tonight. That's a pretty short game, and uh, I put a you know I, I pretty much beat half the game in one sitting. Um, and that was about four hours. So. You know, I, hopefully I'll have uh, the rest of the game finished tonight. I'm hoping to actually get a lot of games done this uh, weekend. I have a four-day weekend, and I guess we'll see what actually I get done, if anything. But uh, this will definitely help grease the wheels, so. So there we go. Uh, big cheers to Exceed for bringing us out um, Trails in the Sky second chapter. And uh, that's it for this video, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.